Academy for Dental Assistant viewers. This is Teresa, our instructor, as most of you guys know. Today she'll be going over sterilization with the ultrasonic, the autoclave, and cold sterile. Thanks. Mark. All right, so ultrasonic, autoclave, cold sterile. Make sure you have your mask, goggles if you don't have glasses, gloves, and the jacket. Don't want to get this stuff on you. So, ultrasonic is filled with water. There's normally three little dots or something in there to fill the water to. The ultrasonic vibrates to remove debris, blood, tissue, anything that is on the instrument. Once it's filled, you always want the lid on. So turn the knob to five or 10, it shakes vigorously. You can check your ultrasonic by putting a piece of tin foil on the top and putting the lid on. If it's doing its job properly, it should have little small holes in the tin foil. You know that it's doing its job. The little tablet will be dropped in there. Once they come out of here, they get rinsed off and they get bagged in the bags that they properly fit in. And then they'll get placed into the autoclave. The product clamp is done by heat, filled with water, heat steam. When the bag is not sterilized, they have different colors. So if it is a blue on the bag, it is not sterilized. When it turns to a dark green or a cocoa brown, the bag is sterilized. So you'll always be able to tell and know if the bag is properly sterilized. Sometimes they have the tape that they put on the cloth or the cassette. Yeah, the sorry, the cloth papers for the cassette. They wrap or, things in for oral surgery or implants or things like that. Once they come out of the autoclave, there will be brown lines on them so you know that they have been sterilized. Not sterilized, sterilized. Cold sterile, they need to be in here for a minimum of 10 hours. We keep dates on here. We put the date, the time it goes in, and the initials of whomever is putting it in there so we know that it's proper. Everything that is inside of the container must be submerged in the solution. If it is not fully submerged in the solution, it is not properly sterilized. Once it's there, we can take it out. You must have a mask on, gloves, goggles. This stuff is pretty potent. You can just take your hands, shake off the excess, put it in the container that says clean on it. We have a clean one and a dirty one. We will just take it, shake off excess, and then rinse them thoroughly because these go into your mouth. You don't want to taste that funny taste. We'll rinse them off about two or three minutes and then place them on a towel to dry. I like to just get them all rinsed off real good. When the bubble stops bubbling, you know the solution is gone. Since I dropped that one there, I'm just going to leave it and I'll put it back in the solution. Don't know where the sink's been. Put them over there neatly so the water drains off. And that's it. Not so bad. Put that one away. And then I'll put these into the cold sterilization after I check them to see if they need to be scrubbed. That one does. Those are fine. Make sure they're going to go under the solution, which they should because. And then scrub this guy off. And 
and then we'll put today's date that's off just so I can write with the marker. Today's date is April 1st. Autoclave. We keep the plastic instruments on the top to keep them away from the, the hotter parts of the machine. Keep the bag on the bottom or in the middle. The water's gonna come all the way to this little tick mark here. We try not to let it go over that because if it does, it will start to overflow and then we need to grab a bucket. Going to make sure it's on. Gonna turn this little lever here to fill water. We never mess with the temperature on here makes things too hot, they shouldn't be. So I'm gonna turn it to fill water. Water's gonna to start to move. As soon as it touches that line, I'm gonna turn this down to STE, which is sterilized. I'm gonna shut the door just firmly enough so it doesn't pop open, kind of like a bank vault. And put this to 40 minutes. Once the timer dings, the instruments are clean. We will come back here and set it to dry for 20 minutes. And then once the, it gets to zero, we'll open the door a little bit, give it a little time to cool off, help it out a little bit, open it up and take everything out and put it away. We try not to leave it in there so nothing rusts or melts. And that's um, the autoclave.